Hello everyone. Um, thought I'd uh, do a short video on an iconic rifle here. This is the Remington rolling block. I'm sure most everyone's pretty much familiar with this particular rifle. Uh, Remington over a long period of time made over a million of these rifles. Uh, there's a lot of them out there. Um, this one's in really really awesome shape uh, it's definitely a shooter's grade rifle um, it's chambered in uh, 5070 and what makes this particular gun unique is this is actually a New York State contract rifle whereas in 1871 the governor of New York contracted Remington to make uh, 15,000 rifles for the New York State Militia. Now, how you can tell that is if you'll notice the hammer spurs, extremely large, but when you cock the hammer back, drop the gate, you'll notice there's a checkered shield on the hammer spur and the gate lever. That was uh, unique to this rifle. But the other thing that was unique with this particular rifle was when you cock it back, drop the gate, load your cartridge, when you push the gate back up, let me see here, the hammer, instead of being fully cocked, goes to half cock. So before you can fire this rifle, you need to bring the hammer back to full cock, then pull the trigger, and the rifle fires. Uh, this was uh, kind of a unique design um, for this particular rifle, um, the contract rifle that is. And, um, you know, it's kind of like an early safety feature. You know, it's like a, a, a built-in safety that Remington made onto this rifle, which I find really unique and interesting. But, uh, not a whole lot of markings on this gun. There's a, uh, I don't know if you can see it, there's a little stamp there. Um, basically, this is kind of like your everyday run-of-the-mill rolling block with the exception of it being a, I don't wanna say rare, but more of an unusual contract rifle. So I'll have more pictures and a write-up on the website if you're interested in this gun, I find it really unique and interesting. Um, got the original ramrod there. So, you know, these rolling blocks are neat old single shot rifles. There's a lot of them out there. They're getting more pricey um, with time, just as everything's getting pricey. But if you have a chance to pick one of these up, most of them are definitely uh, usable. You can shoot them. They're old, you know, black powder rounds. You can reload. You can actually buy manufactured ammo. These are, these are fun guns to take to the range. And I suggest if anyone likes firing these old big bore antique rifles, this is one you can still pick up at a somewhat affordable price. And I would suggest going for it. These things are really awesome to play with. Anyway, it's all about shooting guns and having fun. I hope everyone has a great day.